Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that Atletico Madrid are closing in on the signing of Conor Gallagher from Chelsea. Gallagher has been in talks with Atletico for some time, and positive discussions on Saturday have brought the deal closer to completion. According to Romano, all parties are confident that a transfer will soon be fully agreed, though some details still need clarification. Chelsea is aiming for a €40 million Euro fee for the midfielder, and Atletico Madrid has increased their offer significantly after an initial €20 million Euro bid was rejected. Atletico views Gallagher as a replacement for Saul Niguez, and the deal appears to be moving swiftly towards finalisation. Chelsea's decision to sell Gallagher is driven by a few key financial reasons. First, after two years of record spending, the club needs to balance the books by offloading some players. Second, Gallagher is one of the few players with strong market interest, guaranteeing a significant profit. Lastly, with his contract expiring in 2025, Chelsea cannot afford to lose him on a free transfer. Initially, Gallagher was reluctant to leave this summer and was puzzled by Chelsea's decision to put him up for sale. However, Atletico Madrid's attractive offer and a recommendation from his England teammate and former Atletico star Kieran Trippier have made him reconsider. Gallagher has also been banished from Chelsea's first team to try and push him out of the club. And there's been some reports he might not be allowed to train with the first team. I was wondering. The 24-year-old England star was informed in a meeting on Friday that he would not be permitted in the first team building or allowed to train with Moresca's squad starting Monday. Instead, Gallagher will join a separate training group. Chelsea have been looking to sell Gallagher, who has less than a year remaining on his contract, throughout the summer. With Atletico Madrid being the latest trying to sign him. Although the Chelsea proposed a new contract to Gallagher, it was only for two years with an option for an additional year. This shorter-term offer reflects Chelsea's doubts about his long-term future at the club. The main concern is his ability to adapt to Moresca's possession-based style of play, which has made the club hesitant to commit to a long-term deal. Despite Gallagher captaining the team for much of last season, he is now seen as merely a squad player if he stays at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea and Napoli exploring swap deal for Victor Osman. According to Fabrizio Romano, Victor Osman still desires a move away from Napoli this summer. The 25-year-old striker has been linked with a transfer for some time, and now Napoli is open to a potential swap deal with Chelsea. Reports indicate that talks with Paris Saint-Germain have stalled as Napoli explores bringing in Romelu Lukaku as Osman's replacement. While Chelsea is interested in Osman, they are not willing to pay his hefty release clause, which is reportedly in the nine-figure range. Details on the potential swap deal The Guardian reports that Napoli is open to a swap deal involving Victor Osman and Chelsea's Romelu Lukaku. Discussions are already underway, with Napoli keen to finalise Lukaku's move. Romano also mentioned on X that Napoli is actively seeking solutions for Osman's departure and is open to incorporating him in the Lukaku talks with Chelsea. Although Osman has agreed to terms with PSG, the deal remains on hold. Financial considerations Romelu Lukaku has reportedly agreed to personal terms with Napoli, but there is still some distance in valuation. Chelsea is holding out for £30 million, which would likely be subtracted from Osman's transfer fee. With Osman's release clause at £110 million, Chelsea could face a significant financial hit if the deal proceeds. Osman's current situation Antonio Conti left Victor Osman out of Napoli's pre-season friendly against KF Ignatia, hinting at the possibility of his departure for the right price. Osman acknowledged existing agreements with the club regarding his potential move, while Conti praised him as a top player. Lukaku's future at Chelsea Romelu Lukaku has returned to Chelsea's Cobham training ground for training with players not on the US tour. His future at Stamford Bridge remains uncertain, with Napoli's interest in signing him contingent on Osman's departure. Can a deal be struck? Securing Victor Osman would be a dream signing for Chelsea but the deal's feasibility remains uncertain. With Napoli's high asking price, even a reduced fee in a swap deal would be challenging. While Chelsea would benefit from offloading Lukaku and acquiring a prolific striker, negotiations are likely to be lengthy and complex. 
the transfer saga surrounding Victor Osman has taken a dramatic turn. Chelsea remain keen on Napoli forward Victor Osman, but signing the Nigerian international this summer will be challenging. Osman, 25, has been Chelsea's primary striker target for over a year, and Enzo Moresca's side continues to pursue a deal. There are complications, however. Romelu Lukaku, who could potentially be part of a swap deal, is eyeing a reunion with Antonio Conti. Meanwhile, reports from Italy indicate that Aston Villa has reached an agreement with Chelsea to sign the Belgian international. This development could further complicate Chelsea's pursuit of Osman. Osman is open to a move to Stamford Bridge. However, Napoli's high asking price makes the deal difficult. According to Sky Sports' Domes Chef, while Chelsea's interest in Osman remains strong, securing his transfer is currently very complicated. He told Give Me Sport, it's unclear whether Chelsea would be able to afford what Napoli would want. We know that his release clause is over £100 million. So the next best thing is to try and negotiate a loan with an obligation to buy, because Napoli will want a guarantee that at some point, Victor Osman's move to Chelsea, if it is to be to Chelsea, has got a permanent element to it. So that's where we are at the moment. There is so much work to do on this deal. I've been told it is such a complicated deal to do, but the fact that the two clubs are still in negotiation over it would imply that there is a deal to be done. Whether they can do that deal is a completely different matter. PSG recently pulled out of talks with Napoli, paving the way for Chelsea to re-enter the fray. This sparked a wave of speculation, especially after David Ornstein suggested a potential swap deal. According to Ornstein, the deal would see Osman join Chelsea on loan while Romelu Lukaku would move permanently to Napoli. This suggestion, however, outraged Osman's agent. To clarify the situation, Fabrizio Romano confirmed that while swap talks have occurred, a loan deal for Osman is off the table. Meanwhile, Italian media reports that Osman is hoping PSG resumes talks, as they are the only club able to meet his wage demands offer Champions League football, and guarantee domestic success. Julian Alvarez's potential availability Julian Alvarez, a key player for Manchester City, has hinted at dissatisfaction with his game time, despite expressing overall happiness at the club. This has fueled transfer rumours, with Chelsea and PSG reportedly leading the chase. Surprisingly, it is now claimed that Alvarez could be available for just €47 million, Euros, a significant reduction from the previously rumoured price. Williams make decisions. Nico Williams, the talented 22-year-old winger from Athletic Club, has decided to stay put, as confirmed by The Athletic. His potential move to Barcelona is now practically zero. Chelsea, who admired Williams but were concerned about his cost, may revisit their interest in future transfer windows when conditions are more favourable. That wraps up the latest transfer news. But why not watch this video of the worst referee decisions of all time against Chelsea? And make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more updates.